so I will type here Heroku login. Type the email. Press enter. Type the password. Enter. And now we are logged in. So we need to create a new app. So I will type here Heroku create. I am using the free version of Heroku, so I can make 5 apps in Heroku. But since uh, we, I have already have 5 apps on Heroku, therefore it will show, when I will click enter, then it will show the problem that uh, your, you have already have 5 apps and you need to delete some apps from the Heroku. So I am not doing that, I am not creating the new app, I have already created 5 apps, I will be using those apps now. So I am just finding out. Uh, which app is active right now on Heroku and that can be done from through this so it is pointing to your photo gallery app and I suppose we want to change the act this change this uh, app to another app because that is very important because when we make change in the index.js file and make change in the in the database configuration then we need to point to a particular app we can have billions of app out here but we have to manage all those apps separately so this particular uh, command that I am going to type this is important for for controlling the apps on, on the Heroku server We need to get the app name as well. So it's quite cumbersome to type all the whole uh, app name. So we can copy it from here. So I'm just changing to this one. Now I'm pasting it here. That question mark has come, we need to remove that. And now press enter again. Now we will check the app info again. So now it's pointing to my Heroku app. So now I will make the changes in this index. I'm just showing this is very important. We have to make the changes in index.js file of the app. So if we follow these steps, then it will be very useful to, it will be very easy to change, make changes in the index.js. So all we have to do is here type edit index.js. So we have got actually we have got the now we will change the my app ID and the master key out here. If we want to add the client key out here, then we can do that as well by just typing comma and the client key and then the client key actual client key. So that will be done. So we will have different we will have different client keys uh, keys for different we will have different index.js file for different apps. So that's the key out here and we can thus manage multiple billions of apps on the Heroku server. Uh, once we are done testing, we can buy the plan, better plan of Heroku and then uh, we can operate billions of apps on the, on the Heroku server according to our requirement. I'm out here. So that's changes we have to make 
get the index.js file. We will get all those keys from parse.com out here. We will just to, uh, we will uh, we will get back to the uh, to the uh, uh, old server old server and uh, uh, old dashboard and now uh, we will find all keys. We have to leave beta. This is a beta version of the parse. So now we are on the old uh, dashboard. So we will choose this one. And now we will move to account settings. We need to move add keys. So here we have got application key, client key, and all those keys. We can have all those keys from here. And we have to make the changes in the index.js accordingly. So we are done with the index.js now. What we need to do now is to add this to the git and then commit the, commit the changes. So for that we need to write this. and then make commit, commit the changes press enter So it is asking to authenticate the email. So we need to authenticate, and in sometimes we might might be asked this. So we need to authenticate the email, and we have to use the above two commands which are being shown out here. I will be using global. Actually, that was comma. It used to be dot. So now we are done. So we need to make the changes, commit the changes. I 
our it's, it says that our branch is up to date. If new changes are being made, then we will make the we will commit the changes and uh, that changes will be shown on the gate. So we are done now with the changes. Now we want to configure the database for this. So for that we need to use this command. It's Heroku config set and then we need to use the URL. So it says that uh, this service has been uh, has been uh, shut down for us uh, for some time. So it will uh, it will work uh, when it will start again. So there is no problem in this. So it will be working fine. Once the service is restarted, and when uh, when uh, the service will be restart, then we will find all the changes out here. So we'll go to settings. And then we will see a reveal config variables. So this is added. So this is what we want to do. So now we have got a database configured. We have got the parse pointing to the hero. To, a parse is pointing to the uh, Heroku server. So we have got all the things done now. So we now need to change the API app application key, client key, and master key, as well as the server configuration URL in the X code in the iOS. If we are using iOS apps. So for getting the server code URL, we need to click here and then open the URL in the browser. So this is, uh, this is the site is running. So when we will make the changes, that, those, that app will be shown out here. So this is the URL, which is the server, conf server configuration URL and which we need to use. So once we are done with all this, we we will find our app running in just few minutes.